the 1960s were a period of major social, cultural, and political change across the world. These changes also deeply affected the fashion world. The serene and conservative atmosphere of the post-war years gave way to an environment filled with the search for freedom, individuality, and creativity. This environment caused fashion to undergo a radical transformation and led to the emergence of a new trend called color explosion. The 1960s were a period when colors carried not only aesthetic but also symbolic meaning. Vibrant colors represented freedom, youth, and change. During this period, fashion designers and clothing brands began using bright and bold colors like never before. These colors reflected the energy of young people and the new ideals of society. For example, shades of orange and yellow symbolized the energy of the sun and optimism, while bright shades of pink and purple expressed individuality and a stance that defied gender roles. The pop art movement made a huge impact on the fashion world. The works of artist Andy Warhol deeply influenced the understanding of color and pattern of the period. Warhol's famous Campbell soup cans and Marilyn Monroe portraits were notable for their bright color palettes and repeating patterns. This approach was quickly adopted by fashion designers. Graphic patterns and vibrant colors found their place in clothes. These patterns were not only an aesthetic choice, but also a reflection of pop culture. Fashion was no longer just something to wear, but was also considered an art form. The mod culture that emerged in London in the early 1960s triggered a new trend in the fashion world. Mods adopted a minimalistic and sophisticated style. However, this style stood out with bold patterns and contrast colors, rather than plain colors. With black and white color combinations combined with graphic patterns that create optical illusions, this style was considered a revolutionary innovation in the fashion world. Optical illusion patterns were designed to deceive the eye. These patterns generally consisted of geometric shapes and gave the clothes a dynamic movement. Circles, lines, squares and zigzag patterns were frequently preferred by the fashion icons of this period. These patterns not only created a visual impact, but also highlighted the style and character of the person wearing the outfit. Towards the end of the 1960s, the influence of psychedelic culture began to make itself felt in the fashion world. During this period, psychedelic art and culture brought a new dimension to the use of colors and patterns. This culture has become a rapidly spreading lifestyle, especially among young people, and is directly reflected in fashion. Psychedelic patterns often contained surreal, fluid, and abstract forms that challenged the imagination. These patterns were combined with vibrant and saturated colors to create a dreamlike atmosphere. Colors created a visual feast during this period. Bright oranges, fluorescent greens, electric blues and deep purples have become the cornerstones of psychedelic fashion. When these colors were combined with patterns, often intricate and eye-catching, the clothes looked like a work of art. This new face of fashion has become a form of expression that emphasizes freedom and individuality. The hippie movement, which emerged in the early 1970s and 1960s, was still influential in the fashion world. Hippie culture advocated values such as living in harmony with nature, peace and love, and these values were also reflected in fashion. The hippie style adopted a fashion approach in which natural materials, handmade clothes, and comfortable, casual cuts were at the forefront. Colors were seen as symbols of freedom and individuality during this period. Earth tones inspired by nature were used together with vibrant and bright colors. The clothes were generally dyed with batik techniques and the patterns were decorated with handcrafted motifs. Batik patterns were one of the most distinctive features of hippie fashion. This technique was created by binding or waxing specific areas of the fabric and dyeing it, and the resulting patterns were unique and random in shape. This unique and natural structure of batik patterns was in perfect harmony with the hippie culture's emphasis on nature and individuality. Additionally, during this period, ethnic patterns began to attract great attention in the fashion world. Patterns inspired by African and Asian cultures were frequently used in both clothes and accessories. These patterns, often combined with vibrant colors and complex motifs, 
gave the clothes an exotic and authentic atmosphere. By the mid-1970s, disco culture gave rise to a new trend in the fashion world. Disco culture reflected a lifestyle in which nightlife and dancing were at the forefront, and bright and eye-catching clothes were preferred. In disco fashion, metallic colors, shiny fabrics and flashy accessories were at the forefront. Colors like silver, gold, and shiny black have become indispensable elements of disco fashion. The fabrics used in this period were generally decorated with satin, lame, and sequins. Colors and patterns were literally shining with the lights on the dance floor. Another important feature of disco fashion was the widespread use of graphic patterns and geometric shapes. These patterns were generally created with contrasting colors and distinct lines. Sharp lined geometric shapes such as squares, circles and zigzags were frequently preferred in clothing. These patterns reflected the energetic and dynamic structure of disco culture. In addition, Cuts that fit the body and facilitate movement were preferred in the design of the clothes. These cuts emphasized how the patterns sit on the body and change when they move. Disco fashion also brought about a period in which gender boundaries in fashion were blurred. Men and women were challenging gender roles by wearing similar clothing. Bright colors, patterns and accessories were used freely by both genders. During this period, we witnessed the birth of unisex fashion. Colors and patterns have become an important tool for individuals to express their identities. Towards the end of the 1970s, punk culture began to rise in the fashion world. Punk emerged as a reaction to the bright and flashy world of disco culture. Punk fashion had a darker, rebellious, and minimal style. Colors such as black, red and white constituted the basic color palette of punk fashion. The patterns used in this period had harder and sharper lines. Patterns such as stripes, squares, and crosses were frequently seen on punk clothing. Additionally, personal touches and handmade details came to the fore in fashion during this period. In punk fashion, clothing was often torn, patched, and specially modified. It was an expression of individualism and defiance of social norms. One of the most important elements of punk fashion was accessories. Chains, pins, Leather bracelets and spiked collars have become indispensable accessories of punk fashion. These accessories were usually made of black leather or metallic materials and gave the clothes a harsh and rebellious look. Although punk fashion adopted a more limited and minimal approach in the use of colors and patterns, the fashion of this period was considered a rebellion against the norms and patterns generally adopted by society. Colors and patterns were used as a symbol of this rebellion. The 1970s were a very rich period in terms of the use of colors and patterns in the fashion world. During this period, different cultures and subcultures such as hippie, disco and punk found a place in the fashion world, and each created its own unique style in the use of colors and patterns. This diversity represented a period in which individuality and freedom were emphasized in fashion. In the 1970s, the influence of colors and patterns on fashion was not limited to clothes. It also manifested itself in interior architecture, graphic design, and industrial design. Wallpapers, furniture and accessories, used in homes, were influenced by the fashion sense of this period and decorated with vibrant colors and graphic patterns. Colors and patterns found a place in every aspect of life and shaped the aesthetic understanding of the 1970s. The fashion sense of this period continues to inspire even today. Hippie, disco and punk fashion which is revived in retro style, is frequently encountered in today's fashion designs. This period, in which colors and patterns were used so freely and boldly, is considered one of the most important and impressive periods in fashion history. The fashion world of the 1970s went down in history as a period when colors and patterns were used freely and individuality and different cultures were blended. The fashion trends that emerged during this period not only reflected the spirit of that time, but also deeply influenced today's fashion. Retro style is a style that is still popular today and carries significant traces of the fashion sense of the 1970s. The libertarian approach that started with hippie fashion in the 1970s opened the doors to an era in which colors and patterns were used boldly. During this period, clothes became a tool to express one's inner world and identity. Natural and handmade materials, Batik patterns and ethnic motifs formed the cornerstones of hippie fashion. Colors were used in a wide range, from tones compatible with nature to vibrant and bright colors. 
this liberal and individual approach left a lasting mark on the fashion world of the 1970s. Disco culture left its mark on the fashion world in the mid-1970s. During this period, bright colors, metallic tones and flashy accessories came to the fore in the fashion world. In disco fashion, the clothes turned into a play of light, shining on the dance floor. Metallic colors, satin fabrics and sequins became indispensable elements of this period. Geometric patterns of this period. It was an important feature that reflected its energetic and dynamic structure. Sharp-edged patterns such as squares, circles and zigzags have become symbols of disco fashion. During this period, it was also possible to see gender boundaries blurring in fashion. Men and women were challenging gender roles in the fashion world by wearing similar clothing. Towards the end of the 1970s, punk culture began to have an impact on the fashion world. Punk emerged as a reaction to the bright and flashy world of disco culture. Punk fashion, which had a darker and rebellious style, attracted attention with a minimal color palette and harsh patterns. Colors such as black, red and white formed the basis of punk fashion. In this period, patterns were simpler but also had a more striking effect. Stripes, squares, and crosses were patterns frequently seen in punk fashion. The clothes were often torn, patched and modified with personal touches. It was an expression of individualism and defiance of social norms. Accessories of punk fashion were also among the elements that completed the aesthetic understanding of this period. Chains, pins, leather bracelets and spiked collars have become indispensable accessories of punk fashion. These accessories gave the clothes a harsh and rebellious look. Although punk fashion adopted a minimal approach in the use of colors and patterns, it retained its importance as a symbol of defiance of social norms. In the fashion world of the 1970s, colors and patterns were not limited to clothes. This aesthetic understanding also manifested itself in other fields such as interior architecture, graphic design, and industrial design. Wallpapers, furniture and accessories were decorated with vibrant colors and graphic patterns, influenced by the fashion sense of the 1970s. Colors and patterns found a place in every aspect of life and shaped the aesthetic understanding of the 1970s. The fashion sense of this period continues to be a source of inspiration for fashion designers even today. The retro style bears traces of the hippie, disco, and punk fashion of the 1970s. This period, in which colors and patterns were used freely and boldly, is considered one of the most important and impressive periods in fashion history. Today, this creative and original fashion approach of the 1970s comes to life again in modern designs. Fashion in the 1970s was a reflection of social changes, cultural movements, and individual freedom of expression. Colors and patterns were used to best reflect the spirit of that period. This period, when freedom, courage and difference were at the forefront in fashion, continues to inspire today's fashion. Retro style frequently finds its place in modern fashion, and the aesthetic approach of the 1970s is being rediscovered by new generations. This creative period is considered not only a fashion trend but also a cultural revolution. This period, in which colors and patterns were used so freely and boldly, pushed the boundaries of the fashion world and opened the doors to a new aesthetic understanding. This understanding showed that fashion is not just a style of clothing but also a form of expression. When we came to the 1980s, there was a great transformation in the fashion world. During this period, the use of colors and patterns took on a new and striking aesthetic approach while maintaining the effects of previous years. The 1980s can be defined as a period when courage, drama and flamboyance were at the forefront in fashion. During this period, the color palette expanded, often with bright and vibrant tones. Eye-catching tones such as neon colors, orange, pink and green were used extensively in both clothes, accessories and makeup. In the fashion of the 1980s, colors created an explosion of energy. These bright colors, combined with large and bold patterns on the clothes, reflected the dynamic spirit of the period. Patterns were used in quite a variety of ways in the 1980s. Graphic patterns in large, geometric shapes were prominent in the fashion of this period. Patterns such as stripes, polka dots and large squares were combined with clothes and accessories to create a striking and energetic look. Additionally, animal patterns and pop art influences also had an important place in the fashion of this period. Leopard, zebra and snake patterns were frequently used in both daily clothes and evening dresses. 
in the fashion of the 1980s, the cuts and styles of the clothes were also quite assertive. Bulging shoulders, high waist and loose cuts were among the characteristic features of the period. Clothing was often designed in an exaggerated and dramatic way, resulting in the fashion having a strong connection with stage performances and pop culture. Fashion during this period was also seen as a symbol of strength and self-confidence. For this reason, broad-shouldered jackets and cuts that emphasized strong stances were popular for women. Accessories also played a big role in the 1980s. Large, bright and flashy jewelry left its signature on the fashion of the period. High-heeled shoes, big earrings and wide bracelets. These were important elements that made it possible. Additionally, large sunglasses and colorful hair accessories were integral parts of the fashion sense of this period. Accessories have become a way to view fashion as not just clothing but also a lifestyle and form of personal expression. The use of colors and patterns in the fashion of the 1980s created a great innovation in the fashion world by reinterpreting the aesthetic understandings of past periods. This period is considered a period when courage, energy and showiness were at the forefront in fashion. The 1980s were a period that showed that fashion is not just an appearance but also an expression of personality. Today, the fashion sense of the 1980s is being revived through retro and vintage trends. The bold colors, large patterns and exaggerated cuts of the period influence and inspire different aspects of modern fashion. This color and pattern explosion in the fashion world of the 1980s is considered one of the important milestones in the history of fashion and still finds an important place in today's fashion. In conclusion, the 1960s, 1970s and 1980s represent three important periods that show how colors and graphic patterns evolved in the world of fashion. Each period has made significant contributions to the development of fashion by reflecting its own aesthetic understanding and cultural influences. Traces of these periods continue vividly in today's fashion, and interest in the fashion of the past continues to be a source of inspiration for future designs. This historical journey reveals once again that fashion is not just a style of clothing, but also a form of culture and personal expression. This evolutionary process of fashion carries the colorful and vibrant traces of the past to the present and continues to be a constant source of inspiration for future designs.